On this aircraft, the result of our 20 years research was uh, sent to space. Four. So we found a way to modify material in order we can store information, to disseminate uh, and to archive uh, knowledge of humans for many, many years. Three. The end product is this small disk. In three of these disks, we can uh, potentially can uh, store the whole uh, human uh, memory. Two. Uh, advantages of our memory crystals that it can uh, last for, uh, almost forever. One. To destroy this, you need to heat the glass to 1,000 degrees. I, can, I have believed this will last beyond humans. On this aircraft, uh, there is obviously Elon Musk uh, car, and inside the car, our crystal, 5D memory crystal, is traveling. It will now orbit sun for millions, well, depending billions or millions of years, and uh, so where with our with the with a, with a device which we fabricated in this lab. And this inspires me that, that, that the life was uh, worth living, <laughs> that creates something for future generations. Fi 5D writing uh, it refers to five degrees of freedom in which we can encode information. Uh, because we have the additional degrees of freedom, we create this nanostructure, potentially this disk can store about 40 terabytes of data. The ARC project is backing up civilization across the solar system, and we're doing that by building ARCs, which are special archives of human civilization, knowledge, art, history, language, culture, and we're putting them in orbit around the major planets as well as on the surfaces of key planets and planetary bodies like the Moon and Mars. With Elon Musk and SpaceX, we launched the first arc uh, into the solar system. It's now orbiting the Sun for about 30 million years. Elon Musk, his favorite book, uh, Foundation Series, which uh, tells a story about how uh, civilization will evolve in, in the future, and uh, we, we managed to write a uh, trilogy, the foundation uh, series uh, on, on this our 5D memory crystal. And, uh, and this uh, foundation memory crystal, now it travels inside the, the car. So the, the idea of, of our mission is basically was inspired by, also by foundation, Isaac Asimov foundation book in this project. Uh, as in this, uh, there is a mixture of, of uh, real science and si science fiction. Uh, what you can see here is the result of serendipity. Serendipity, you know, it's something, it's lucky, lucky discovery. So how we started 20 years ago, it was we observed some, this non-structure simply by luck. And in 20 years, we managed to, this lucky discovery, finally, <laughs> this is what, what inspires me. We, uh, we converted this uh, uh, lucky discovery into into no, looks a real product and which now travels also in, in space. Uh, this first, first disc is a, is, is a symbolic. Then it comes over to some philosophical. The Bible is about our origin, so still, still we don't know. And the Bible it looks to me about something <laughs> related to, to, to eternity. But what, what, I, what I want to say here, uh, with these things, if they will last forever. So maybe it also thinks, so it will also maybe try um, to inspire people uh, to behave, no, to do things that, that, that sometimes it's not like this. You did something, everything will, for, not, not, everything will be not forgotten. So it, it's another inspiration for people to be nice to each other. <laughs> no. So what, what inspires me that, and, uh, and what could be inspired by, by final uh, inspiration for a scientist that I will outlast my human life. This is, you know, this is maybe huge inspiration. So something which created here will now will live forever. So it means, and for a scientist, it, it, it's the biggest reward, yes? If something will last forever. Life, life is, a, is not a, a, eternal, yes? Once forever, it, we know that we are not, we're humans, yes? But knowledge uh, is a, looks eternal.